Hey everybody, this is Alexander Fitzgerald or Assassinato. Today we are going to be doing some low stakes poker strategy. We are going to be doing a low stakes poker quiz. We are playing a $16 tournament. All of these players have been very passive so far. And most of the time, they seem to be folding on the flop to continuation bets. Here, you have queen nine of spades and villain 18 has limped in. Would you like to fold, call, or raise? Five seconds. Okay, that is time. If you did want to raise here, how much would you like to raise to? Let's say we go to about 6.5 big blinds. Now here we get called by two players, villain 24 and villain 18. The board comes queen jack four with two diamonds coordinated. Villain 24 checks and villain 18 bets one big blind. Here, would you like to fold, call, or raise five seconds. That is time. If you did want to raise here, what would you like to raise to? We raise to 12.3 big blinds and villain 24 goes ahead and calls. The turn is the ace of spades and villain 24 leads out into you. Here, would you like to fold, call, or raise? 10 seconds. Five. That is time. Now, this is going to be a fundamental to some of you, but to many people starting in low six poker strategy, they feel as if folding what was top pair on the flop could be massively exploitable. They feel that they're getting exploited. But if they think about it, you have to ask yourself, our opponent here, is our opponent betting X and X is the best hand that we beat? Is our opponent doing this with a jack? That seems unlikely. So what we need to ask ourselves is, is our opponent doing this with a draw? Now, many people at the beginning of a low stakes poker tournament they want to justify to themselves, this is a draw. Oh, this could be a 10-9. Oh, this could be a couple of diamonds. They're just using a scare card. But that's most likely what's not going on. Remember, these players play very fit or fold. So if they get suddenly very excited, they were folding a lot previously. So they must have something right at this point. And if they did have a draw, maybe they would hope to get a cheap river card. What we need to execute this low stakes strategy play First, we need position, the button. It's very nice to have position all the time. If everybody's going to check to you on any flop, you're going to get a four-card flop anytime you want. And if you hit the board, you can start making that pot as big as possible on the first three cards. So first, we want the button position. We want some kind of hand to raise with. We have that here. We want a table full of passive players. We want passive players who generally fold on the flop. This usually means they play fit or fold, but we need to remember once a passive player gets unusually aggressive, we need to know that means they made their hand. All right, guys, that's my time for today. If you want to keep working on your game, I have a free masterclass in the information section of this, vi of this video. I asked you guys what you want a masterclass on, and most of you said you have problems with ace-king when you re-raise with it pre-flop, miss the flop and your continuation bet gets called. So I went ahead and made an entire masterclass on Ace King, what to do with it in position, out of position, when you hit the flop, when you don't hit the flop. Check that out in the information section. Thank you for tuning in today. I appreciate you being here. Good luck to you if you're playing today. Take care.